Hi everybody, here we are back again with more healthy and happy Passover tips. Money. We all know that Passover gets freaking expensive. And a lot of times we think that, hey, if I add healthy food to this mix, I am just going to blow up my budget. Guess what? It is not true. I keep to a very strict Passover budget because, hey, we want to spend money on activities and memories with our kids um, and, of course, the Seder. But there's a lot of ways you could actually save money by being healthy over Passover. Number one, on your activities, on those memory makers, okay? Getting outside is free. Parks, national parks, no matter what country you're in, are free free and a great way to match being healthy and outdoors with your healthy Passover goals. So don't be afraid to schedule some outside time this holiday so that you can make the most of your Passover experience and maximize your budget. Another budget friendly Passover tip is the week before Passover to get your kitchen done as early as possible so that you have as few days as possible that are uh, takeout food. Takeout food is not only expensive, but it's really low on the healthy list. So by deciding either to switch over your kitchen last um, and keeping your kitchen cookable as long as possible or taking about 24 to 36 hours um, earlier in the week, as soon as you're able to tovel and kosher all your equipment, which is what I do. Uh, and then we have like kidney oat week uh, before Passover. So that's really helpful in not only saving yourself a few hundred dollars in takeout food, but also a few thousand calories in home cooked over store bought food. On that note, making a list of the top things that need to be done in order to turn over minimally um, from non-Passover to kosher for Passover is really critical. For example, your dishes don't have to be unpacked in order to be kosher for Passover and avoid takeout. You can be using plastic silverware and plates for a few days before you decide to switch over the last of your equipment. The most important thing is that your stovetop, counters, sink, refrigerator are done and your pots and pans have a clean and safe place to be stored um, during the week. And of course your sinks, new sponges. So make a list going through your own kitchen and your own needs as to what you'll be doing so that you can make the turnover as simple as possible. A lot of times we add in our spring cleaning to our Passover cleaning and that's great. I do the same thing. But by really keeping a clear division of what needs to be done and which priorities need to be met, you're going to be able to stay healthy emotionally and physically and save yourself some money by understanding that certain goals you may have in your kitchen and cabinets for spring cleaning don't have anything to do with your actual necessary Passover cleaning. I hope this was helpful. Let me know what your plan is either for healthy takeout minimizing takeout or time money-saving recipes you found for the holiday.